Botanga Montimba. Good morning, sir. Thank you for coming on Hello Cameroon. Good morning, Voce. All right. And you're beautifully dressed, but you're not the only one. I mean, it's a, it's a, uh, I was going to say clash of culture, but I hate negative words. It's a fusion of culture on the set today because by the time I go through the, the delegation, you'll see that they are representing the, the, the country very well. We also have Chief Dr. Ekoka Molindo, President of the Limbe Chiefs Conference. Good morning, sir. Thank you for coming on Hello Cameroon. Thank you very much. All right. We also have uh, Mr. Mba Mbole, who is President of the Northwest Cultural and Development Association. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming here to be part of the FESTAC delegation. And we have the, uh, the lady in the team, uh, Madame Tambe Matina, who is chair of the exhibition. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Fuchi. It's my honor to have you on the program. Thank I might you. just use that moment to quickly say happy birthday to a friend, a dear friend, Antoinette, uh, out there. It's your birthday today. Please seize it and run. While we are talking about Festac, our producer, Lukadi, will definitely be giving some images of past editions. But we want to tell you this is the event that you don't want to miss. It starts this year on the 8th of April and will run till the 15th of April. But while, why do I talk about it when the people who talk about it are right here? Uh, Mr. Government Delegate, if you were to pr present this festival to people who do not know about it, what would you say? Uh, I would just say uh, is uh, Cameroon in miniature finding itself in uh, the town of friendship, okay. which is Limbe. Uh, not only Cameroon in miniature, because uh, we entertain equally uh, uh, friendly neighboring countries like Benin, Nigeria, Ghana, who celebrate with us. So it's uh, it may be an overstatement to say it's Africa in miniature Limbe okay. during that one week, but I don't think I'm far from the point. Uh, I want to say this time uh, around we have had to bring in some innovations like um, painting and poetry and for the children, uh, for students to prepare uh, them to get used to culture for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I want to uh, maybe turn to Chief Dr. Ekoka. Uh, he just said Limbe is a town of friendship, and this is a cultural ceremony of friendship because we do see, I mean, uh, we have uh, somebody from who is not from Limbe here on the set to talk about it. So it's, it's a moment to f be friendly with everybody. But uh, friendship also starts with hospitality. And as a chief, I'm sure you are the voice of chiefs to comment on this friendship event. What, what is your take on, on this cultural moment? Yeah, Limbe is unique in the sense that its geography and its position allowed it to have so many people from diverse culture. Right from the origin, we have been very hospitable. It's no doubt we call Limbe a town of friendship. Mm -hmm. Once you get into Limbe, it is like one big family. You don't feel to leave. The sea is there. The friendship is there. The, the, the hotels are there. It's just a wonderful place. Oh, Limbe has everything. He has the beach, he has the fish, he has the people, all the people you can think of, you find them there. But uh, in, in this April, on from the 8th, we will have a lot more, you have a lot more color. And talking about a lot more color, there is uh, Mr. Mbambole, you are the president of the Northwest Development, should I say so? No. Cultural, cultural, and cultural, Development Association. Uh -huh. cultural and Development Association. Yes. What, do, what will uh, you bring to this event? Uh, the Nowekuda, as we commonly call it, the Northwest Cultural and Development Association, is a very uh, organized group of people comprising all tribes from the Northwest. And uh, you know, when we talk about culture, Northwest is always, uh, it has very uh, many particularities. Mm -hmm. This year, as in the previous years, Nowekuda is going to, first of all, uh, build a very concrete and a very uh, colorful uh, carnival group of not less than a hundred people, the traditional dances displaying our fondom, our culture, our gastronomy, our arts and crafts. And uh, more so after that, on the Northwest Day, we intend to present a series of very colorful and thrilling traditional dances ranging from masquerades to uh, women alone dances, men alone dancing, and mixed dances. Okay. And uh, we also present a cross-section of the gastronomy of the Northwest region 
in this residence. One thing I would like to find there is Fufu and Kati Kati. Don't worry. Uh, you will find it there. Well, uh, Madam Tambe Matina, you are responsible for this play. And he was just giving us an aperçu there. But do you want to give us an idea of what will be on display at Festac this year? Yeah, in our Festac village, you find a lot of exhibitions. We are going to exhibit the different crafts, uh, the craft types, uh, especially the sculpture, the drawing, the food craft, the, uh, uh, all types of artifacts, uh, fashion, African fashion, Cameroon fashion in particular, bidding, and what have you. A lot will be displayed, and we have over a hundred participants who will be coming to exhibit their different types of uh, handicraft. Okay, it's a moment of talent, and uh, Cameroon has a lot of them. So we'll be watching, uh, we'll be in Limbe to bring you some of that. But you should, uh, it's highly recommended that you go to Limbe on the 8th to be part of this event. I'm going to turn to you, Mr. Government Delegate, for my last question, which will be, if you were to invite people for this event, what will you say? If you were standing in front of people and say, come for Festac, what will you say? Oh, I would <laughs> say everybody should be able to come because they will be training moments. If you don't mind, let me give you a rundown of, uh, of uh, the program. Okay. On the eighth, we will have a sport walk that is to relax the muscles of each and every one who is uh, to take part uh, in this event. A sports walk in the morning, and then in the afternoon, the opening proper that will be presided uh, over by the Minister of uh, Arts and Culture, all things being equal. Mm -hmm. uh, during this opening, we'll have the carnival. The carnival that will uh, we show all the art artistic uh, know-how of uh, Cameroon. The four uh, cultural uh, zones of Cameroon will be represented. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, our neighboring countries like Benin and uh, uh, Ghana and Nigeria will feature then uh, that will be it for that day uh, with speeches for the opening. Then the second day will be for FACO. That is the custodians of uh, uh, our uh, of the land whom uh, here represented, here by, represented by the chief mm -hmm. will display what FACO is capable of as far as culture, arts and culture is uh, concerned. The third, uh, the third day will have uh, the uh, no, uh, the Sicilian uh, culture, okay. yeah, from the three northern from regions. The three northern country. regions. Mm -hmm. The on uh, Tuesday we'll have the Fang Beti. The on Wednesday we'll have uh, the uh, West, the West region. Uh, yes, uh, with uh, uh, the Beninese, and then on Thursday we'll have the Northwest. Uh, uh, region, uh, uh, rather on Wednesday they have to be the littoral and um, the West who will uh, present together. Then on Thursday we have the Northwest. Uh, on Friday we have now the Southwest region that has to showcase their culture. Okay. Then the most important, uh, which is at the close of the event, is on Saturday uh, where we'll have canoe race. Uh, canoe race, tug of war, and uh, uh, traditional, and traditional wrestling, traditional wrestling yes. to crown it all. Okay. Yeah, uh, but you should not forget. Every evening, we'll see a prominent musician in the republic. Some names to throw her in there. Yeah, Toto Guillaume. Uh, uh, Baby Yango. Are we going to see the government delegates sing something too? Uh, I will not be left behind. Okay, yes. well that's what they wanted to hear. I will not be left behind. <laughs> Thank I you. Take the microphone once in a while. He so has taken the microphone before, and I can promise you, if you hear him sing, okay, you'll know what we're talking about. But Mr. Government Delegate, thank you for coming and all the delegation, all the members of the delegation. This is just to tell you a powerful thing is about to start in Limbe. If you're around there, please book a room. And if you're not around there, it's time to start finding your way to Limbe. It starts on the 8th and ends on the 15th. Just a moment for me to get uh, a report that will be a quick transition before we move into more culture on Hello Cameroon.